they heard Corporal Dunham yell a warning to Miller and Hampton, no, 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 watch his hands. And then a grenade exploded. Threw me out of my back and threw Miller up against the wall. Uh, Jason just laid there. And when you get a phone call at 1130 at night, pretty much you know something's not right. For Deb and Dan Dunham, life has never been right since that phone call in April 2004. Their 22-year-old son, Jason, a Marine corporal, was critically injured by a grenade while on patrol in Iraq. After what happened on 9-11, this popular kid from Allegheny County told his parents he had to enlist. It was the least he could do. I knew it wasn't going to be good. I, As a parent, you just have a... Like she said, she, she said, I asked her how she felt, and she said, not good, and I said, me neither, because there's just something inside of you that knows. Before he left, I, he hugged me, and I gave him a hug and a kiss, and I said, keep your helmet on. And I didn't know Dan had said the same thing. Well, kids always do just the opposite of what you tell them, so. That premonition came true. While on patrol, Dunham's platoon stopped and searched some suspicious vehicles. An Iraqi insurgent jumped out of an SUV and dropped a hand grenade. Dunham did exactly what his mother told him not to. He took off his helmet, covered the grenade, and laid down on top of it. That's not Ferguson. He's the first one to meet me, and he looked at me and he said, hey, Miller and Hampton are okay. And something about the way he said it told me that someone wasn't. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, it's done them. Once again, it's do the right thing. And the right thing is five guys should come home instead of five guys being dead. And I think he knew that. His life was not as important as the men around him. And once again, I said he, he was a special, unique kid. Dunham arrived at Bethesda Medical Center several days later. His parents rushed to Maryland. He was gravely wounded. The shrapnel had gone through his brain. The Dunhams needed a miracle. I maybe was a little optimistic, but not as much as her. But for her, I held hope. So once the doctors, their faces. He never came out of the coma. And eight days after Corporal Jason Lee Dunham did the unthinkable on the battlefield in Iraq, he died. He was 22 years old. It was the toughest day of my life. Ultimately, he had to make the final choice, and I watched my husband die a little bit that day. Many would expect that Corporal Dunham would be buried at Arlington National Cemetery, but that's not the case. His mother told me they actually spoke about it before he went off to war. He told her if anything ever happened, he wanted to be right here at home. And I turned and I said to him, I said, um, military blues? Yep. I said, here or Arlington? He said, here. I said, okay. And I walked away. For the first time in 40 years, a U.S. Marine was awarded the Medal of Honor, the nation's highest military honor. President Bush visibly moved at the ceremony. And I'm not saying people should go out and jump on grenades and, and do this and do that, but if you just cared about the person around you more than you did yourself, things would be so much different. People will never forget the kind-hearted, good-looking kid from Sio, New York. I think we both expect him to walk through the door one day. I still look for him. His name is everywhere in this town. And the Navy's USS Jason Dunham now sails the seas in pursuit of freedom. And it is this haunting face that will forever remind us of love, honor, courage, and duty. In Sio, New York, Keith Ranford, 7 Eyewitness News.